Hello and welcome once again to the Mrs. B. Board show, starring me, Mrs. B. Board. And I'm her assistant. My name is Abe. Shut up, Abe! Who asked you? It's a, it's a sorry, Barbara. And in today's episode, Abe and I have broken back into our own shut-down studio to work for free in order to set a good example for all the essential government employees out there who are taking it on the chin for our great, wise, and powerful President Trump and his wall. That's so patriotic of them, isn't it, Abe? Uh, well, no, because nobody's volunteering to do this. They have to do it, Barbara. Oh, either way, it's just a small inconvenience to pay for doing something great for their kids' futures. It's a major travesty that our government shut down for so long, hurting so many people over a vanity project for Trump. Well, first of all, this is the Schumer shutdown, not the Trump shutdown. How is this the Schumer shutdown? Trump said on camera that he would love to shut down the government and that he would own it this time, not blame the Democrats at all, which is exactly what he's doing now. Yes, but Chuck and Nancy, oh, that nasty woman. All they have to do is give in to Trump's demands and the government will reopen. Well, historically, appeasement doesn't work. Also, it's never wise to negotiate with terrorists, Barbara. And just how is Trump a terrorist, Abe? Well, he does have 800,000 Americans hostage. Well, he also offered relief to dreamers by funding the DACA program for three more years. So it's not like he hasn't been trying to negotiate. And that's just a lot more innocent children that he's also taking hostage since he's the one that ended protections for the DACA program in the first place. Well, there's really just no pleasing you, Hybe. Well, tell me this. If this shutdown is all Trump's fault, then why does every single Republican support the wall, huh? None of the Republicans support the wall. That's why in the original budget, there was no funding for the wall at all, and it passed 100 to 0. Every single senator voted yes, Every single member of the GOP and every single Democrat, they all fully agreed on this budget. It was the most bipartisan thing to happen since they unanimously voted on Russian sanctions 100 to 0. But that's when Trump alone, after promising to sign it, rejected it just before Christmas break, to everybody's surprise. He's the only one that wants the wall, Barbara. Hence me calling it the Trump Vanity Project. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. What was that other part, Abe? Russian sanctions? Aha! If Trump is such a Russian puppet, as you're always saying, then why did he sign that into law? He didn't sign it. He rejected that bill, too. And the only reason to reject it is because Papa Putin would not be happy if his puppet signed into law those sanctions. Oh, whatever, Abe. You're just upset at the definitive proof that Democrats can't run the government. Right after the Democrats took over the House, the government shut down. What a disaster the Democrats are. Uh, Actually, Barbara, the government shutdown happened a week before the Democrats took the House. It happened when the GOP controlled the House, the Senate, the Executive Branch, and the SCOTUS. The GOP had absolute power and control and they still failed to keep the government running. It was shut down under their watch, and now the Democrats have inherited a real mess they have to clean up. Oh, shut up, Abe! Who asked you? Sorry, Barbara. And here I wanted to set a good example for the hard-working but unpaid men and women in the United States by working unpaid myself, while also, perhaps, providing them with a little bit of entertainment with my radio show for their day. But since you want to be so difficult, I'm shutting this show down again. But Barbara, we were just renewed for ten more episodes. Oh, forget it, Abe. I'm going home. Get my coat. I need you to come with me and give me a sponge bath again. Oh, no! Oh, yes!